What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I finally have my Luna Love Good box from Geek Gear. And guys, look at this box. If this does not fill your Luna Love Good heart, I don't know what will. Like, that is so cute. We were actually supposed to get this box quite a while back, but Geek Gear sent an email out saying they just didn't feel like the box was quite right. And honestly, I love that they did that. I 100% wish all boxes did that. I would rather wait for a box than receive a box that isn't that great. So I do love that Geek Gear really wanted to make sure that this box was perfect for us. But on the other hand, that kinda has raised my expectation of this box even more because the fact that they took that extra time to make sure it was perfect, I'm kind of expecting this box to be perfect like I'm kind of expecting this box to blow my mind away and if you guys watched the last time I unboxed a limited edition box from Geek Gear I think it was the House Pride box I was not a fan of that box I think that was like the harshest I've ever been on a box like mm. so I was a little hesitant to get this box, to be honest, but I mean, it's Luna Lovegood, and you guys know Luna Lovegood is like one of my favorite characters in Harry Potter, and honestly, I don't even have that much merchandise based on Luna Lovegood, so yeah, I, I couldn't resist. I could not resist getting a box full of Luna Lovegood just... So yeah, I'm very excited to see what Geek Gear has come up with. Let's go ahead and find out what we got. So if you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Oh, okay. Ooh, we have a t-shirt and something wrapped in the t-shirt that I dropped. Oh, okay. I actually like it. It's very plain though and one word I would never use to describe Luna Lovegood is plain. So yeah, I really do like it. I'm just, I'm very surprised that they chose such a plain design. Like it really is just a black t-shirt with a little pop of color. And I like that they made it of her sneakers. That was such a cute moment in the film. But definitely a t-shirt that I think most people would actually wear. Me, on the other hand, like... It can be blatantly Harry Potter, and I will wear it. Like, it can be screaming Harry Potter, like a Harry Potter book in the library, and I will wear it. I'm just saying. Next, I guess I'll do the box that was wrapped in the t-shirt. Hopefully, it wasn't anything breakable. It's a Luna Lovegood, like, figurine with her, like, iconic lion hat. That is so Cool. Yeah, I think this actually is like breakable. Thank God it didn't break. That would just be my luck. Now you can tell this was like hand painted. One thing I do not understand is why is her eyebrows green? Maybe it was artistic choice. I'm definitely not an artist. So I mean, but I think I honestly might try to like find some blonde paint and fix it. Because I don't know why, but the green eyebrows are just throwing me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't like the green eyebrows. That is just... And the random beetle kind of thing on her hand. I'm sure this was meant to look like a ring because we all know Luna Lovegood wears like crazy jewelry. But, I mean, honestly, it just looks like a random beetle just crawling on her hand. That's just weird. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, this is still such a cool little figurine. Definitely something I will display on my shelf. And next, we of course had to get some radish earrings. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this because they are cute earrings. I don't know. Let's see how they look on. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> okay. What do we think, guys? Do we like them? better on but I mean this top is just twisting and it just it doesn't even look like a a radish you know 
Yeah, definitely not my favorite item so far. I hate that I put them in now. I can't put them in my giveaway box. Ooh, next we have a big item. It looks like a potion bottle. Ooh. Oh, now this is awesome, Geek Gear. It is Nargles, and it says, no one seems to believe me that Nargles are real. You'll need to wear some special glasses to see them. Luna Lovegood. Oh, oh, I hope that means we have some Spectre Specs in here. Like... We would have to have them to see the Nargles. And then we also have a little tag here that says, Nargles are attracted to mistletoe. Avoid contact as unwanted side effects may occur. That is so cute. I love the little cork with the wax kind of just melting down and the little cute label with the note from Luna. Wow, this is definitely my favorite item so far. Definitely more outside the box thinking than I'm used to from Geek Gear because Geek Gear is kind of more mainstream with their items because they have so many subscribers to their subscription boxes. I feel like they try to appeal to the majority of people and sometimes that limits the creativity I think. So I definitely feel like this is one of their most outside the box thinking items they've done in a while and it's definitely my favorite item so far. That is awesome. I, I love it. Okay, now I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I need to move on. Okay, okay, okay. Why? Y'all, this next item is so cute, but it's gold. It's a necklace of Luna Lovegood Spectre Specs. That is so cute, but it's gold. If you've been following me for a while, you know I am not the biggest fan of gold jewelry. I'm sure people who love gold jewelry absolutely adore this. And it is so freaking cute, but... Oh, I wish this would have been silver. Gosh darn it. But yeah, it's still very cute. I'm starting a new giveaway box, so this will actually be my first giveaway item in my giveaway box. <sighs> Had to be gold. Ooh, we got a big item next. This, this is awesome. I really like this item. It is a banner with her Spectre Specs on there and it says, you're just as sane as I am, which is not very much. <laughs> I adore this and like that's my favorite quote from Luna. Definitely something I'm going to display on my wall. I love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. We only have two items left and... Neither one of them are Spectre Specs. So hold on, let me grab my pair. I just have to make sure there really isn't something we can see in this bottle. <laughs> Y'all, they're really there. Or are they? Ugh. I'm so sad that they did not include a pair of these for everybody. I feel like that is such a miss from a Luna Lovegood box. It would have been so cool for people who did not have the glasses to get the glasses. <sighs> like you include the Nargles that can only be seen with these special glasses. I feel like this, this should have been like a must. I wouldn't even have cared to get a second pair, legit. You can never have too many Spectre Specs. Like what if one breaks or a Thestral eats it? I mean, you never know. So, <laughs> so I feel like that's like a little miss for this box, but still a still a very cool item. Next we have a pillowcase. Let me take it out of the plastic. Okay, so we have a Ravenclaw scarf, her wand, a little copy of the Quibbler, the little radish earrings down there, and Spectre Specs, and a little watch. So just different items to represent Luna. It's not my favorite design, to be honest. I mean, it's just different items of Luna's sitting on a table. I feel like they could have done so much more. Like there are so many Luna moments that I feel like would have been awesome on a pillowcase. Like with her flying on a Thestral with a quote at the bottom that says, we fly of course. I mean like there are so many iconic BA moments of Luna that I think would have been absolutely amazing to be represented other than just random items of Luna on a table. So yeah, definitely not my favorite design. Quality wise, I mean, as always, it does feel like really good quality. Um, and like I said, it is so soft. Just not my favorite. This will also end up in my giveaway box. So yeah. 
And last in the box is an art print. And I have to say, I do love this art print. I like that they made it black and white with just those couple pops of color. We have Luna reading the Quibbler upside down, her holding her wand, kind of like she's in a DA lesson and Harry's teaching. Um, and then we have her with her Spectre Specs. Wow, that is awesome. Definitely one I will display on my wall. But guys, that was everything in the Luna Lovegood limited edition box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card to make sure I didn't miss anything. So we had the exclusive Luna Lovegood Lost Shoe t-shirt, the exclusive Luna Lovegood themed cushion cover, the exclusive Luna Lion head figurine, the exclusive Luna Lovegood dirigible plum earrings, the exclusive Luna Lovegood Spectre Specs necklace, the exclusive Nargles potion with intentionally crumpled label. <laughs> and they like underlined intentionally crumpled. Um, and seven exclusive Luna quotes, you're just the same as I am flag. Number eight, exclusive Luna Lovegood artwork. This was done by Michelle Ann Art. Girl, talent, talent, talent. Um, show Michelle some love on Facebook at Michelle Ann Art. So before I give my overall thoughts of the box, as always guys, let me know what your favorite item was, least favorite. My favorite item, as you guys probably know, is the little Nargles in a jar. Like, that is just awesome. Uh, but I also really love the art print, gorgeous, and the banner. Um, my least favorite item was the dirigible plum or radish earrings and the pillowcase. Overall, I do feel like Geek Gear could have done a little bit more with this box. Like, I was very surprised, like I said earlier, that they did not include a pair of Spectre Specs in this box. And I was also kind of surprised that we didn't get a quibbler item like the pillowcase and the art print had quibbler on there so the quibbler was represented in the box but like i would just really have loved if they would have actually included a quibbler like that would have been so freaking cool but you guys definitely let me know in the comments do you guys like more outside the box thinking items like this or do you like more mainstream items like the necklace i would love to know y'all's opinions in the comments down below but as always thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hey welcome feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of harry potter lovers and bookworms and i will see y'all next time bye guys <laughs>
keep off the dirigible plums. Oh. Okay, well, I was gonna keep them up there, but they're not, they're not staying, so. This is, this is a good look for me. Huh? Hmm, exceptionally ordinary. Thank you.